Hello, welcome back to Solving Polynomial Equations in Algebra. We're going to be uh, cranking up the complexity a little bit. We have several problems here that are just a little bit different from one another, mostly because I want to give you experience on how to handle a lot of different cases. Also, please watch this entire lesson because there are probably two or three gotchas that I really want to point out to you, and explain some things to you that I didn't myself understand quite well enough whenever I first learned algebra a long time ago. So I want to make sure that you understand these things that sometimes aren't explained as clearly as they should be or as, as upfront as they should be. So let's just jump right in. None of these are difficult. None of these are crazy, but they do require us to go over a few things. Let's say we have six times x plus 12. Uh, is equal to x squared. And I just say, hey, here's a polynomial, equ polynomial equation, solve it. Well, this looks quite different than any of the other ones we've done because you have you know, a factored expression here, and then you have x squared over there. So a lot of times students will start saying, well, okay, this is, I'm gonna have to set this equal to zero or something, but there's no zero over there. Then they'll try to move the x squared over there, and it'll just look completely different than um, anything they've really done before. Right? That's just because the problem is constructed to try to confuse you. Right? All you have to do for all of these problems, for any, any, any polynomial equation, is you have to move everything to one side and you need to expand everything so that it's in what we call standard form. So you have the highest power, then the next highest power, then the next highest power, descending on and on and on equals zero. Then you factor the thing. Just because there's already a parentheses here does not mean that you have to leave that parentheses in place throughout the entire problem. In fact, the very first thing that we're going to do here is distribute the 6 in and expand and blow this thing up, right? So 6 times x is going to give me 6x, and 6 times 12 is going to give me 72, and I still have that equal to x squared. So now that it's equal, uh, now that it's um, in this form, what I'm going to do is take these terms and grab them and move them to the other side by subtraction. So what I'll end up with is x squared minus 6x minus 72 equals 0. Make sure you understand what I did here. I just said I'm going to subtract 6x. It's going to disappear from here, and it's going to come up as a minus 6x over there. I'll subtract this, so it'll disappear. It'll come up as a minus 72 over there. Then I'll have 0 on the left, but I'm going to switch the whole thing around and move all of those terms to the other side basically because I like to have my variables on the left-hand side and zero on the right, out of habit, mostly. So basically you rearrange and get everything on one side, and now we have to factor this expression. You see, you don't have to leave this parentheses in place. It's probably there just to confuse you. Blow everything up, move everything over, and now let's factor this guy in its, in its entirety. So I can't pull out anything first, so I just write my parentheses and try to factor this expression straight out. So x times x can give me x squared. And then I think, well, what times what will give me 72? Well, I already just did the, the 12 times the 6. So let me try that. I'll put 12 times 6 is 72. And I'll see if, if that's even possible. Right? So I look at my inner terms. That'll give me a 12x. And then I'll add to that the 6x here, either plus or minus, depending on the signs. And I ask myself, 12 plus 6 or 12 minus 6? Can that equal 6? Yes, it can. Now, there's a negative here. I'm ignoring all signs when I do this. I just want to look at the magnitude of the numbers to see if it's even possible. So these numbers, it appears to be even po It appears that it might work, and so I have to choose my signs. Negative 72 means that these have to have opposite signs, either positive, negative, or negative, positive. So you go through in your mind however you like to do it, but in eventually you'll land on negative and positive. And to check that this is correct, the inner terms will give me negative 12x 